All right. So, this is Front F, and apparently he now has a better mic. Yes, I have better mic, and I have better computer, and I forgot about that. Oh, Damn it! Oh, no. I need to save. I need to save. I hit the wrong button. Thank you. Um. So I have better computer now, so I can actually record, and I have better. Well, I actually have a mic now because it becomes necessary. Um, you're, much, you're not a squeaky. Yes, I can. <laughs> Your inner mouse has disappeared. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm actually understandable now. I mean, I know this even without the mic, I'm probably not that comprehensible, but I'm sure the mic wasn't helping. <sighs> I'm surprised oh, I was able it. to understand you sometimes. What? I'm Oh, you disappeared! What do you mean? What? I, I still see you. You're you're gone on my screen. Oh, Wait, I had I just had to restart. Never mind. Damn it! On weekend. Oh. oh. Come on, come on, make the simple jump. Thank you. Why am I doing so badly all of a sudden? I'm gonna blame the new keyboard. Nah, cause the keyboard probably doesn't have an impact on this. I'll make StarCraft pain. This actually might make you have a chance when we record it later today. Okay, uh, so cloud jumping. Not really a good sport. Alright, alright. <sighs> Got this If time. you think about it, bouncing off clouds wouldn't really work because you Damn just it. fall right through them. You wouldn't bounce off of them. Yeah, you really wouldn't. It and they would still basically... just be there even if you did bounce off of them. Yeah, you would just get wet. Yeah. Oh, so close! Did you get bounced down as well? Yeah, I feel so close. How did I die there? <laughs> How? Did you see that? Not really. When Apparently, I, I landed on the cloud and and died through the cloud. That sucks. Wait, yeah. How does that happen? I don't know. It just kind of did. We're gonna have so many deaths by the end of this part. No! Oh, come on! I thought it was a spike, but I didn't turn around quickly enough. Come on. Come on, jump. Thank you. No! Go, go, no! I saw that! <laughs> oh, come on! Which direction do you have to go? Left. Left? Which way's left? Okay, that way's left. <laughs> Frig! I think I hit my head on something. And bounced downwards, so go right and then left. I made up there twice though, that's impressive. Yeah, compared to my record, which is no. I think I might made up there once earlier, but I'm not sure. So two or three times. You know, memory, how does it work? Yeah. Oh. Just a bunch of synopses. Inconsistently. That was synapses. I thought it was synopsis. Synops synopsis is a summary. No. Yeah. Do I need to get out uh, dictionary.com again? I know I know that type of synops. Are you it's, it's a synapse, synapse. I'm sure I should say actually. It's what? synapse. It's a synapse actually. Yeah. That's what I said. Synapses. Synapsi? Synapses. Like axes and matrices. But does it end in X? What? H no, it doesn't need to. It's still synapses. I'm or synapses. Really I'm fairly sure it's synapses. I'm sure synapsi. Oh, that just sounds like a weird term, actually. Alright, I think you might need a double jump here. I'm not sure. But I can't seem to get enough height. I really least he'll help me get my bearings. So I'm gonna try double jump when I get up there. I can't get past that stupid spikeroo. Yeah, I'm slightly getting better at it. Freak. Switch his screens too, because I can't figure out what's happening. I feel like I'm hitting my head on something, but I don't know what. Air. 
I'm gonna try going up right. Like, if I could just get an extended view up there. But the problem is I always die on this screen, right? So I can't just sit there and look at stuff. And also the clouds of spares, I don't know what it looks like immediate, uh, from the beginning. So, let's talk about something. That's what I was about to say. What do you think is the meaning of life? 42. Any more questions? What about inflation, though? Doesn't inflation bring up, like, 57 or something? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, it would be, it'd be 52 if you counted inflation. It was 52 for inflation? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> why is it why is it always inflation about, never deflation? What about taxes? Oh, if you include taxes then it then it brings it down to forty three. Down to forty three. What? Yeah, because you're taxing on that. Oh you mean revenue from the taxes? Or um Depends, is the meaning of life a price? Are we paying for the meaning of life? No, it's a number. That determines something. Yeah, what was the, what was the question? Like, <laughs> what is the meaning of life? <laughs> was the original question. No, but then didn't, didn't they have to like build a uh, like earth or something to figure out what the question was to which the answer was 42? I never read the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so I wouldn't know. Alright, what is the meaning of pasta? Pasta? It's pasta. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Fine, what is the meaning of broccoli? Broccoli. Um, broccoli is codenamed tree. It's codenamed tree. Yes. What does that even mean? <laughs> it looks like a tree. <laughs> <sighs> um, but it doesn't taste like a tree. You would think that. No, I'm fairly certain it doesn't taste like a tree. Have you ever tasted a tree? I'm sure I have when I was little. I mean, children eat some stupid stuff. Name one thing that they do eat that's stupid. My sister once ate a um, planter full of dirt. What? <laughs> you know that saying, you eat a pound of dirt in your life? She literally ate a pound of dirt. A pound of dirt? Yeah. You know that saying? No. Really? You eat a pound of dirt in your life? No, I've, I've never heard that saying before. Oh. I swear it's a thing. Maybe it's just in Canada. I don't know. Oh, them Canadians. Damn it. I can't. I can't make any progress up here because I don't even know what's killing me. <laughs> so unfortunate. Well, I can't get past that stupid second spike. Like, I know what you need to do. Oh, no! I almost had it. No. No. That's, don't fall. Gravity is not your friend, Luigi. Gravity is not your friend. Gravity is always your friend. Fun for gravity, where would we be? Floating. Aimlessly. Fun for gravity, we won't have an atmosphere. As I repeat myself, floating aimlessly. No, we wouldn't even be here because we wouldn't have an atmosphere, so we would have not even been born. Again, I repeat myself, floating aimlessly. We wouldn't be floating aimlessly, we would be... Different, raised in different particles, yes, but still float, floating aimlessly. How do you know we wouldn't um, become part of a star or a planet or something? It still includes particles, and you said that there's... And you said, well, if there wasn't gravity and... Gravity's kind of oh, necessary right. for, for stars to form. So not no gravity at all in the entire universe. Oh, I was just talking about Earth. Um, no gravity at all in the entire universe. <laughs> that would be an issue. Nonsense. Be a major issue. No gravity, we already probably would have hit the um. Uh, what's it called? It's like the uh. Okay, okay. I think I know what's going on here. 
I think I know what's going on. I don't know how to get past it, but I think I know what's going on. Alright. Invisible coin blocks? No. I definitely got a chance to see something, though. Yeah, it's, what is it? It's like the... The great... Um... It's like... When the universe spread is, is accelerating too quickly for anything to happen. What is that? I don't know. What's that called? There's a term for it. I don't know. Without gravity, it would be accelerating. Well, there, there would be nothing to bring it together, right? So the acceleration would have more of an effect. And that would be a big issue. The second derivative of the graph of the speed of the universe would be greater. <laughs> I'm no trying to you. follow what you're saying, but I'm having a hard time. Yeah, it's probably because you don't know what a derivative is. No. Derivative is the slope of, effectively, a point of a graph. The slope of a point? Effectively. Um, technically, it's... Okay, so if you have two points, you can find the slope between them, right? Yeah. Okay, so what if those two points are separated by zero distance? That's not technically possible, but you can take the limit as it approaches zero distance. And that gives you effectively zero distance, or effectively at one point. Um, is also commonly said as the slope of the line tangent to the curve at that point. What? Um, have you gone to tangent lines yet? No. Well, I know you'll it. Get to you'll get to them this year. Not not tangent as in the trigonometric function. Tangent lines. A tangent line is a line that crosses the curve of a graph at exactly one point without crossing through the line. Or oh, that curve, that thing. Yeah. So the slope of that uh, of that line is the derivative at that point. You can graph the uh, um, a derivative technically is a function, so you can graph it. And the tangent lines of that function will create that function for all the. I have a question. Points. Yeah. What's the point of graphing? Graphing is useful for getting a um, representation of. Um, damn it! Of I data. mean, in math rather than science. Yeah. It gives you um, useful. It actually makes it useful for like real-world applications. Like, um, there was a, uh, a question that everyone in pre-calculus was failing, and I don't know how none of them could figure out, the, figure out the answer to this question. But it was, if you have a hundred apple trees, and each apple tree gives you 120 apples, and for every ten more trees that you plant, each tree will provide you with four fewer apples. Then how many more trees should you plant to get the maximum uh, harvest? And the answer to that is you make it an equation, uh, 100 plus x times 120 minus 0.4x is the amount of apples that you're getting, where x is the amount of trees that you're planting. And then you find the maximum of the graph of that, which is where the value is maximum, and that's AKA, the... AKA, uh, vertex. Yeah. And that's the maximum amount of trees that you're getting. Hmm. So, it's useful for make, making it for real-world applications. I mean, you could do it algebraically, of course, and that's how I would have done it. Um, but graph can be useful for it. Uh, in, like, um... Uh, it, it, it makes it a lot easier to look at the... Like, a graph is effectively just you know, th the value at every single possible point, and there are an infinite amount of points. Um, but, uh, for things like in um, calculus, for, like, integrals, damn it, why do I keep doing that? I know I need to stop doing that, but I keep doing it. Uh, for integrals, an integral is the area beneath the curve of the graph, hmm. which sounds completely meaningless, but actually has really useful purposes. Because it's basically the sum of the function, right? Um, like, uh, take um, one that you probably know, the uh, formula for a falling object. Uh, yeah, 16h. Negative 16h squared. Negative 16h squared. 
Okay, I remember. You don't there's... fall upwards. What? You don't fall upwards. Shh, um, they don't need good. to know that. That equation is found by taking the integral of the acceleration due to gravity. Because as you're accelerating, you're gaining velocity. Or, sorry, not acceleration, no. Of the velocity due to acceleration from gravity. Oh my gosh. Make the stupid jumps. Yeah, Algebra 2 is so boring. It's just a review of Algebra 1, and for some reason... Oh, are... trust me. Um, if you don't like review, you're gonna hate Precalc. The first <sighs> half of the year's review of Algebra 2. It's incredibly painful. But th the problem is that everyone else in your class, I bet, needs this review, because there's been a year between Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. Yeah. So they probably need the review. And that's the problem. Come on. Come on, With pre-calc, I don't know what their excuse is, because there's no year between Algebra 2 and pre-calc. But they still spend half a year reviewing oh, pre-calc. Uh, Algebra 2. In pre-calc. How much longer am I going to do this review? Um, what are you guys currently on? Completing this square. Um, what chapter? Four. Probably not too much longer. Oh, I find really stupid. Lots of things. CP class is ahead of the honors class. Wait. What? Yeah. Wait, how does that happen? I don't know. Uh, I think that might have been the same thing for my class as well. And then once you, um, then you'll, uh, pass them later, I guess. I don't, you know what? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how that happens.